This is a story of perseverance. Three teammates at the University of New Hampshire that won't quit. The love of the game keeps them coming back to play, even when the bodies of redshirt junior Denise Beliveau, redshirt sophomore Abigail LaRosa, and redshirt freshman Kelsey Hogan keep breaking down. After my freshman year, I got knee surgery. My freshman year, I walked on, and a couple games into the season, I broke my finger. Two years ago, I came in as a freshman, and about the third game, um, I blew out my ACL. I hurt my ankle, and I, I just kind of ignored it. So I was out for that year. First official practice last year. So then I got ankle surgery. Then my sophomore year, I got to play. I was going for a loose ball. When was um, the eye? And then last year, I tore my ACL. My knee just went one way, and my foot went the other way, and I ended up blowing it out again. I um, fractured my eye socket, so basically like right under my eyeball. We could be here a while. <laughs> now I'm a redshirt freshman again. I got elbowed in the nose and broke my nose. That's a good list of injuries, I'd say. Bellavo's <laughs> anatomy lesson is a study in pain. Knee, ankle, facial bone, nose, yet she's posted multiple double-doubles this year, giving what she has left for the Wildcats. So I can't walk anymore. <laughs> We're getting better. We're going in the right direction, and it definitely makes, like, all that preseason running, like, getting back into shape three, four times over again, like, completely worth it. I just feel awful for some games, you know, with the face mask and the knee brace and her ankle. It's just, I don't even think she has any ligaments left in her ankle, so... You know, it's funny sitting over there. So make sure you get a nice bath tomorrow. Coach, I'm used to it. Like, I don't even feel pain anymore. What is there, you know, I don't have any bones or ligaments to feel pain. The problem with multiple injuries is that each time an injury is suffered, it takes a little bit more away, making a young body feel and act old. Before my injury, I was a lot quicker. Um, so now I, I know I'm slower than I used to be, so I have to play a little more safe. One of my days definitely when I'm achy, I'm hesitant, but I keep telling myself, like, what if, like, what if it happens again? You know, I, I fight back once again. Like, you can't control things. You gotta live every day as it comes to you. So, gotta do what you gotta do. Part of the reason they're back for more, their new head coach. Maureen McGarity appreciates the sacrifices made to help UNH improve. If we lose the rest of the games this, you know, this year, but you guys play with heart and you just you're determined and we just really compete, and I'm I'm happy with that. Um, and th those three, I think, are perfect examples. They they play every possession as hard as they can. A cold bath, a hot tub, painkillers, none of it works as well as winning. The best way to make the pain go away. What feels good when we win? That feels good when we win. Yeah, my body's taken a pretty good beating, but a bunch of the girls would ask me, like, is it worth it? And if you start to think about it like that, like, really break it down, like, maybe it's not, but when you're out on the court playing, like, you don't think about your injuries, you don't feel your injuries, you just play. So, I think it's worth it.